Okay, guys, I don't know if you can tell by the mess on my desk, but today we're going to be working with watercolors. Um, some of my favorites are Van Gogh, and some of the colors I will be using are um, Cerulean Blue. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that one. Let's see. Um, I think it's called Opera Rose. I know these are really hard to tell. Sap Green. One of my favorites for skin color is uh, Naples Yellow Red. And I'm going to probably be using Azo Yellow Light. Um, Burnt Sienna. Uh, Thalo Green. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using Indigo. Probably not. Oh, and here's the Opera Rose again. I don't know why I have two of those. What is this one? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't use Opera Rose. I used, um, I think it's called Kina something Rose. I have no idea because it's hard to read on these ones. Yeah, it doesn't say. Um, and then again, we have Permanent Red. Okay. So, woo, now that I got this mess going on on my fingers. Okay. So today I'm going to be working with a photo play, um, Kringle stamps, which I think are really cute. And also we're going to be painting on sand dollars. And the way to do that, especially if you're using watercolors is to, um, use tissue. Okay. So we're going to be doing kind of like the Mod Podge thing. All right. And hold on, sorry, somehow I got two pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a little spot and smooth it out really good. Okay, because you don't want a piece or area that's too wrinkly, okay? So the first thing I want to stamp on here is, I think it is the Christmas tree, okay? Now it looks like I've got a really good spot here. See if I can move this up. I'm going to be using Diamond Press Black, okay? So I'm just going to saturate my stamp here. I'm going to press down really hard. I don't have to do this twice and voila I'm going to move this one off and then I'm going to use my Santa gnome and again I'm going to use the diamond press black and I'm going to stamp him up here really good and if you do it really good the first time, you don't have to do it again. Okay, I'm going to get rid of some of that ink that's smudged in the middle there. And then I'm going to press down. Looks good. Now I can go ahead and cut these out. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I purchased these sand dollars off of Amazon and I went ahead and spray painted them with a basic matte white spray paint from Walmart. Okay. I've, I mentioned it before. It's one of my favorite things to, to use because it's only 98 cents. I mean, you can't beat that. All right. So I'm going to get out my Mod Podge. I have my little stamp pieces under here. And what I like to do is I do like to try to cut around them as closely as possible. As you know, there are die cuts with this, but with this thin, thin, thin paper, that's going to be really hard to die cut through that without having a problem. So as you know, sand dollars are very, very porous. 
So you're basically going to have to um, saturate the area where, so I'm going to put my tree down first because I do want my little gnome to overlap that little Christmas tree. So you see I have this first layer on and already it's basically soaked it up. So I'm going to come back and quickly, you really have to move very fast with this stuff, okay? Um, there's my second layer and here we are, third, and now it looks like it's finally starting to sit on top of the sand dollar, which is what you want. You want it to be very wet so that you can smooth it down very quickly. So I'm going to apply my little tree here, all right, and I'm going to move very quickly. I'm going to lift this up a little bit and add a little bit underneath here just to be on the safe side. And you see it's already drying, so I have to work pretty fast. I'm going to come and grab a little more and lift this up a smidge and get what I've missed, okay? And now I can lightly tap it. Now I'm going to come back over the top of it. So when you're using your ink, you want to make sure you're using permanent ink, okay? Because if you're not, um, what's going to happen is it's going to smear. So do not use a water-based ink for this type project. Because it'll just smear everywhere. So as you can see, I'm doing a pretty heavy coat on top of it. And then now I'm going to come over here and work on my little gnome guy area. So I'm going to start off by painting a nice smooth area. Okay. And I'm just going to get all around here because I have no idea how much space this is going to take up. Okay. You don't want to overlap too much of the Christmas tree. I think I'm just going to overlap this little right hand corner. Okay. So now we've got layer two on. And now I'm going to work on layer three. And I can actually put this in little sections. Okay. By holding on to it, I can add more underneath it. I hope my pickle fat fingers aren't hiding it too much. But there we go. And I'm gently going to pat it down with more Mod Podge, okay? Now, you're going to want to let this dry thoroughly, okay? Because if you don't, um, your colors aren't going to paint on properly. And also, you're going to run into the issue where you have bubbles, etc. So right now, I'm just going to smooth that out. And now I'm going to let it dry. Do not use your heat gun. It will bubble up, okay? So just definitely leave as is and let it dry. And I'll be back. I decided to add a Ho 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 stamp. And I'm going to start off with the Naples yellow. And I used just a tiny smidge of the Opera pink. And um, I'm going to mix these two together. And you want to make sure you really have it watercolory, okay? So add, make sure you have lots of water so it doesn't dry out in the middle of painting. So I'm going to start off with the nose. I always try to start off with the lighter colors first. And just know that paint watercolor lifts watercolor, okay? So your brush, if you decide to um, come back, and try to fix this, it's probably not really going to work. You'll have to add more color on top of color. Don't use a wet brush. Now, if you want to clean up a mistake, then you can wipe off your brush, dip it in the water, and then wipe off your mistake. It'll usually work. So you'll probably see me do that a couple of times in this. And now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this because it's pretty much simple. Now, whatever you do not have, your um, tissue paper on will not paint properly, okay? I'm just letting you know that now. So the best thing to do is to just stick with this and leave the white background, okay? Um, 
unless you want to spray paint your background like a light blue but just remember the light blue color is going to show through so you're going to see that underneath the beard so you may want to um, put that into consideration okay just letting you know so I want to start off with a Christmas tree and um, I'm going to add a little bit of the blue green color first again I'm going to make sure I have a lot of watercolor here and I always like to use a zero brush if I didn't mention that before. So I'm just going to go right over my tree here and this is going to be my center color. I noticed that I did not let this dry enough and so my Christmas tree started looking a little splotchety so I came back in let it dry some more and then I used a larger brush to kind of cover over my mistakes this is a number six um, Princeton art round brush okay and that really smoothed out my Christmas tree there so it's looking a lot better now I can come back in and um, get my smaller brush again because I have to do all these little fine detailed lines in my hat but I want to make sure that I have all my green out of my brush that is for sure I don't want any of that in my um, red hat here okay <laughs> so I'm going to grab my red here and again I want this a really nice beautiful red color nice and bright and I am going to leave it a little bit thick, meaning um, more paint than probably water, just because I need to do such fine lines that I really don't want my water running everywhere. In fact, I'm kind of a little nervous here. So I'm going to start off with my tip. And I'm going to work on my next one. Okay, we're moving right along here. Now for my body, I do want to add a little bit of burnt umber to my red here. Okay, and this one's already dried up. I'm probably, and what I mean just a smidge, as you can see, there was just a smidge on there. This is just to darken it up a little bit, okay? I don't have any black paint, otherwise I'd probably use a very tiny, tiny bit of that. But as you can see, I just want it to look a tiny bit different than the red I was just using to um, separate the outfit. If that makes any sense. actually on another gnome. I forgot to show you the rest of what to do. <laughs> so anyway, I started another one. And so here's what I did for the little um, ball right here. I decided to use one of my tiny little balls from the, again, Hobby Lobby Make It Merry. And I'm going to use some E6000 because I really want it to um, stay 
Just do a little dollop of that. And then I'm going to get my little Let me see, I mean, it's probably easier to do it with my hand. I'm just going to push it in place. And then I want to also add this little star um, on top of this one. I don't like how that one looks, so I'm going to cover that up. And again, I'm going to use a dab of B6000 because I really want it to stay for years to come. So. I definitely know E6000 is going to hold up two elements. Oops, woo. Let's try that again. I'm just going to lay that on there. And then once his little feet dry, I'm going to come back over here with my um, Stickles Frosted Lace. And I'm gonna go ahead and smooth some of that on there. Or you can also use Mod Podge. And I'm using a extra fine glitter, which I can't seem to find at this moment. Hmm. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and work on waiting for his little feet to dry first. And then I'm going to come back on here and I'm going to use again this Make It Merry Snow Glitter and I'm going to put this on his beard and then I'll be right back. Okay, so his feetsies are dry and I can go ahead and add my eye craft glue here just for his beard. And I'm going to have to kind of move quickly. And I'm just going to fill this in. I'm just going to try to fill in any little holes or weird little ridges. Okay, that looks good to me. Put the lid back on so it doesn't dry up. And I'm going to get my glitter, or snow, shall I say. And I'm just going to sprinkle it right on there. And gently, gently, gently pack it on. Okay. Wait for a second. Then I can kind of just scoop it right back into the bag. And the easiest thing to do to clean this up is you can use these little tongs, right? Oops. Because I want to come back in and reform his nose. And any of this that's extra here, I'm going to go ahead and just get it off. Okay, I'm going to use my Mod Podge again. And hopefully my brush is clean enough. Um, I put it in the wrong kind of water, which I shouldn't have done. I want to go ahead and start adding Mod Podge where I want the glitter to be. And I'm probably going to lay it on pretty thick because I do want this to um, stay wet for a little while so I can get it all on here. Okay, so I can grab my microfine glitter. And 
just continue on all the way around till I'm done. And then add my ribbon for it to hang on. Well guys, here's the finished sand dollar. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. And I will see you for day 10. Sorry I'm running a little bit behind. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like, and also visit the other channels that are hosting the 12 Days of Christmas YouTube Hop, and I'll have all those links down below. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hope you have a wonderful and fabulous day. Bye y'all.